When Ben Johnson broke his neck skiing in the World Telemark Free Skiing Competition four months ago in Girdwood, Alaska, it seemed his whole way of life had changed. A skier by passion, but a raft guide by trade, Ben was afraid that he wouldn't be able to continue doing the things that he loved. This week, he's taken a huge step towards getting back to that way of life, guiding a river trip for the first time since his accident. Ben will be flying into the Killick River in the Brooks Range with Tuloak River Guides to guide a paddle boat down a 105-mile stretch of a remote Alaska river. We'll start high in the Brooks Range in the northwest corner of the Gates of the Arctic National Park, and they'll float 105 miles down the Killick River to its confluence with the Colville. While traveling through this country, they'll see countless caribou, part of the 500,000 strong Western Arctic herd. They'll see grizzlies, wolves, blue lakes, white sand dunes, and some of the wildest, most remote country you can find. As remote of an area as this is, it's not without infringement by development. Near the Colville River is the National Petroleum Reserve, which Congress just voted to open up 2.6 million acres for oil and gas development. This while they simultaneously put a moratorium on all solar power projects on public land. They preserve 600,000 acres above Teshekput Lake as sensitive caribou habitat, but the remainder of the 23 million acres is open for development, which is also sensitive wildlife habitat. Next week when Ben gets back from his trip, he'll be sharing with us his experience and give us his thoughts on what this development means for such a wild and beautiful country.